Just a few months ago, I could handle it all. What happened? Why does it feel like everything is collapsing around me? I hope you are planning to stay late tonight. These reports need a thorough review and a summary by morning. Mr. Green, already I have a lot on my desk. I might need more time to get all this done. Time? Maya, in this business, deadlines aren't suggestions. I need people who can manage the workload efficiently. Maybe this role isn't a good fit for you. I understand, Mr. Green. I'm committed to the work. I just need to prioritize effectively. If there is any possibility of spreading these tasks out. So you are saying the workload is too much for you? No sir, that's not what I meant. I'm capable, and I can handle it. I just thought we could look at the timelines, to ensure quality. Well, quality is exactly what I expect Maya. If you think your approach isn't meeting our standards, maybe it's time to reassess. Hey, don't let him get to you. He's been piling it on everyone, but especially on you. I'm fine. I just didn't expect it to be like this. I have been here long enough to know the signs Maya. Word is, he's looking to hire his niece. They say he's pushing you out. Pushing me out? I have given everything to this job. Just be careful. I have seen it happen before. But hey, if anyone can handle this, it's you. God, I don't know what's happening here. I thought I was where you wanted me, but am I really strong enough to keep going? If you are really with me God, please, help me through this. Maya, you look exhausted. Is it as bad as I have been hearing? It's worse. Mr. Green keeps piling on work. More than any one person could handle. It feels like he's testing me, pushing me to the edge. Why would he do that? You have been working yourself to the bone for that job. Janice told me she thinks he's trying to make me quit. To hire his niece. I thought I was just failing. Now I wonder if this has been his plan all along. That's terrible. So, all this extra work? It's just to wear you down? I think so. He's giving me impossible deadlines, and criticizing everything I do. I don't know what I'm supposed to do anymore. I'm trying so hard to stay strong, but it's just getting harder. Maya, I know it doesn't feel like it, but maybe this is happening for a reason. Maybe God's trying to show you something through this. I have been trying to believe that, but it's hard when every day feels like I'm just being pushed out. If this is where I'm supposed to be, why does it feel like I'm being crushed? You remember the verse you keep on your desk. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. Maybe that's the promise you are supposed to hold on to right now. But what if I'm just supposed to let go? Maybe I should just leave before he has the chance to fire me. Leaving would definitely be easier. But would it be what God wants? Sometimes the hardest path is where he grows us the most. Maybe he's calling you to walk through this storm, and trust that he's going to bring you through it. I don't know if I'm strong enough for that Leah. I feel so small. And honestly, I feel abandoned. I thought God led me to this job, but now? Now it feels like I'm just being pushed out. Maybe he's teaching you to lean on him in ways you haven't before. Think about it, hasn't he been with you in every other challenge you have faced? Yeah, but this feels different. I have never felt this isolated. When you are at your lowest, that's when he's closest. You are not alone in this, even if it feels that way. It's just hard, you know. I want to trust him, but I also just want this to end. I'm tired Leah. I'm really, really tired. I know Maya. And it's okay to feel that way. But think about this. What if God is preparing you for something bigger than this job? What if this is his way of refining you, teaching you strength and perseverance? I don't know Leah. I really don't. But maybe you are right. Maybe there's something in all of this I can't see yet. Hey Maya. I can see that something's been bothering you. You don't have to carry it all by yourself, you know. I don't even know where to start Jonah. Every time I try to solve one thing, two more problems show up. It's like I'm drowning, but in slow motion. I have been there too, you know. Life throws one thing after another, and before you know it, you are completely buried. But sometimes, it's not about trying to make everything disappear. Then what is it about? 
because right now, all I want is for everything to just go away. Maya, do you remember that verse from Isaiah? When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. I don't know Jonah. I feel so small right now. How am I supposed to get through all of this? You don't have to know the way out Maya. Sometimes, all you have to do is trust that there's a way through, even if you can't see it. It's just so hard to believe. I mean, if God is with me, why does it feel like everything is falling apart? It's okay to feel that way. Remember, God didn't remove the Red Sea in front of the Israelites. But he did make a path right through it. A lot of times, we think that having God in our corner, means that we have things change overnight, and they totally can. But maybe the solution wasn't about everything changing at once. Maybe it was about finding strength, one step at a time. You don't have to have it all figured out today Maya. Sometimes, faith is about taking one step forward, even when you can't see the whole path. I want to believe what Jonah said. I want to believe there's a way through this. But it just feels so impossible. What if I make things worse by trying? What if I mess it all up? God didn't remove the Red Sea. He made a path through it. God made a way for them. Even when it looked impossible. Maybe I don't need to know how it all works out. Maybe I just need to start, one small piece at a time. Alright, God. I will take one step. Just be with me. Still here Maya? I thought you would have finished by now. Yes, I'm working as fast as I can Mr. Green. This report alone takes hours, and you added two more today. Maya, we both know this job isn't about doing your best. It's about delivering results. Deadlines don't move for anyone. I need people who can keep up. Mr. Green, I have been putting in extra hours, even on weekends, to keep up with the workload. I feel like I'm giving everything, but it's becoming too much for one person. If you can't handle it, there are plenty of others who would love the opportunity. I'm committed to my work here Mr. Green, but if there is a specific area you feel needs improvement, I'm open to feedback. Feedback? The only feedback I have is that you are either cut out for this, or you are not. We don't need to discuss anything Maya. If you can't meet expectations, maybe it's time to consider your options. Mr. Green, I respect this job, and I have worked hard for it. I would appreciate a fair chance to show what I can do, without being constantly undermined. Undermined? Maya, I'm simply expecting you to perform. If that's too much pressure for you, then maybe you are right, you are in the wrong role. I don't think the workload is about my performance sir. If I'm being honest, I feel like you are trying to make this position unbearable. I have no idea what you are talking about. If you are implying anything beyond the work I have assigned, maybe that's just a sign you are not suited for a competitive environment. God, if you're here with me, please give me strength. I don't know how much longer I can keep doing this. I need you now more than ever. Maya, I have been so worried. Are you okay? Not really Leah, I don't know if I can keep doing this. Mr. Green keeps piling on more work criticizing every little thing. I feel like he's pushing me to quit, but I just can't walk away. Maya, that sounds unbearable. Maybe. Maybe it's time to look for something else. This job is draining you. I wish I could Leah. I really do. But it's not that simple. My family depends on my income to make ends meet. If I leave, we will struggle. I feel trapped. I understand. That's such a tough spot Maya. Hey Maya. Leah told me what's going on. Sounds like things have gotten really rough at work. Yeah, that's an understatement. Mr. Green is giving me more work than I can handle, hoping I will mess up, so he can replace me. I feel like I'm drowning. But quitting isn't an option. I get it Maya. Sometimes we are stuck in situations, that feel impossible. But maybe this is a season, where you're meant to learn something deeper like leaning on God even when the way forward seems blocked. But why does it have to be so hard? I pray, I ask for strength, and still, every day is harder than the last. Maya, I know it's hard to see this now, but maybe God is using this to strengthen you. You are stronger than you think, and maybe he's preparing you for something beyond this job. Remember the time I felt stuck, 
and you helped me find my way? It's hard to see any purpose in this, when I feel so alone, like God has abandoned me. Maya, God's silence doesn't mean he's absent. The Israelites at the Red Sea. They fell trapped too, but God didn't abandon them. He parted the waters, and made a way, even when it seemed impossible. I want to believe that, but it's hard to see how this could be part of his plan. I just feel like a failure. No matter how hard I work, it's never enough. That's exactly when faith matters most Maya. When we are pushed beyond our limits, that's when God shows us we don't have to carry it all alone. Yes, and remember, it's okay to feel weak. Faith isn't about being strong all the time, it's about trusting God even when we don't feel strong. He's not expecting you to have it all figured out. Just take it one day, one task, one prayer at a time. I don't know. I'm scared. I feel like if I don't keep everything together, it will all fall apart. You don't have to keep it all together Maya. Let God handle what you can't. And remember, you have us. We will be here every step of the way. We are going to pray for all these every day. There is power in prayer. God is going to soften the heart of Mr. Green. Heavenly Father, we come to you in this moment, lifting up Maya. You see the struggles she is facing at work, and the pressure she's under. Please grant her peace and strength to persevere. Help her to feel your presence in these difficult moments. Lord, we ask for your guidance in Maya's situation. Lord, we commit to praying for Maya until she sees her breakthrough. Soften the heart of her boss at work. We believe that you are working behind the scenes, and we trust in your perfect timing. Help her to find wisdom in her decisions, and courage to stand strong. May she see your hand at work in her life, and may her faith be renewed. Amen. Thank you, both of you. I guess. I just needed to hear that I'm not alone. I will try to take it one day at a time, like you said. And we will be praying for you. Remember, God doesn't leave his children. No matter how tough it gets, you are not alone in this. And don't forget to take care of yourself too. We are just a call away if you need us. Maya, please have a seat. Thank you, sir. I will be honest. I didn't think you would last this long, given the pressure. But, your dedication has truly surprised me. Thank you, Mr. Green. I'm here to work hard, not give up. I believe in the work we are doing. Maybe I have been a bit hard on you. I have seen how much effort you put in, and it's time we discuss how to make this role more manageable for you. I appreciate that. It's been challenging, but I want to do my best. Let's talk about redistributing some tasks, and providing you with the support you need. You shouldn't have to feel overwhelmed to prove your worth here. Thank you Mr. Green. That would make a huge difference. I want you to know that your contributions are valued. We are a team, and I want to support you in every way I can. Thank you God. Even through the storm, you have been with me. Maya. It's so good to see you happy like this. You said you have something good to tell us. You have no idea how much I needed this. I have so much to share. I have seen the hand of God. So, spill the tea. What happened with Mr. Green? He actually acknowledged my hard work. I couldn't believe it. As we have been praying, God finally softened his heart. He said I have been dedicated, and that he wants to help make my role more manageable. God made this happen. Indeed. That's amazing Maya. You totally deserve that recognition. I knew you had it in you. This is a huge step forward. God has done it for you. We praise his name. I can't express how relieved I am. I felt so overwhelmed, but hearing him say that I'm valued. It made all the difference. I'm so proud of you. You have worked so hard, and it's finally paying off. It's like God is rewarding your faithfulness. You have stayed strong through all the trials. I couldn't have done it without you both. Your encouragement and prayers, kept me going when I wanted to give up. Here's to you Maya. To breakthroughs, faith, and the strength to keep pushing forward. And to the support of good friends, who lifts us up when we are feeling down. I know, it's just the beginning, but it feels like such a weight has been lifted. I'm ready to take on whatever comes next. That's the spirit. 
Let's make sure you keep this momentum going. We are here for you every step of the way. Thank you for always believing in me. I'm excited for what's next, and I know I'm not alone in this. God is with me. Maya, do you have a moment? I would like to introduce you to someone. This is my niece Sarah. She's joining us for an internship, and I would like her to learn from you. It's great to meet you Sarah. I'm excited to work with you. Thank you. I have heard so much about you from my uncle. He says you are incredibly talented and dedicated. I'm thrilled to be under someone like you. That's very kind of him to say. I believe we can learn a lot from each other, as we work together. Maya, I trust you to guide Sarah, and show her the ropes. I know you will set a great example. And there will be an additional payment for the training. I can't wait to get started. My uncle told me how hard you worked, and how you managed to impress everyone. It's so inspiring. Thank you Sarah. I appreciate that. I try to put my best into everything I do, and I attribute my success to my faith. I believe that integrity and hard work go hand in hand. That's amazing. I want to learn all I can from you. What's your secret? Honestly, it's about staying focused on what matters, and trusting God through the challenges. There were times when I felt overwhelmed, but I leaned on my faith and the support of friends. That's really inspiring. I have always admired people who can stay grounded like that.